In this lesson, we are going to show that H, where H is the span of V1 and V2, is a subspace of V, where V is the vector space. So just to recall, okay, uh, the span, the span of V1 and V2 means that if I, ch if I choose any vector, if I pick any vector from the span, then that means that vector can be represented as a linear combination of V1 and V2, okay? So in other words, I pick a vector, let's call it V3, then that means it can be represented as, let's say, C times V1 plus C2 times V2, okay? So we need to verify, okay? We need to verify that H is a subspace of V. So we have to check, we have to go and check each property Okay, so let's start by showing that this, the, the zero vector of v, of v is an H. Okay, so first one, so the zero vector, we can, right, we can rewrite this as, so the zero vector is equal to zero, oops. so zero times V1 plus zero times V2. So that is showing that this is a linear combination of V1 and V2. Okay, so then, so therefore, or, right, therefore we have that the zero vector is an H. Okay. Okay, that's the first property. Second one, we need to pick, so we need to pick two vectors, add them together, and show that that uh, that 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 vector is an H. Okay, so so let's define let U. Okay, so let's pick. Okay, so we're gonna pick a vector. Okay, so let U belong to H. So that means we can write this. Right? So that in that case, then U is equal to the linear combination of v1 and v2. Okay, so let's use s1. So s1 times v1 plus s2 times v2, where s1 and s2 are real values. Okay, so let's pick another one. Let's pick, let's call it W. And so since W is an H, then that dub, that vector W can be written as, uh, let's say T, let's use T1, okay? So T1 times V1 plus T2 times V2, where T1 and T2 are real values. Okay, so now we have to add them together and show that that result is a linear combination of V1 and V2. So we have U plus W. So that's going to give us S1 V1 plus S2 V2. Okay. Okay, so actually I'm going to write like this. Okay, and then we're going to add W. So W is T1 V1 plus T2 V2. Okay, so now we can add these. Okay, we can, so we can rearrange the terms here. So let's put together the V1s and V2s. Okay, so we have S1 plus T1. Okay times V1, okay, and then plus S2 plus T2. Times V2, okay. All right, so this, okay, that since S1 and T1 are real numbers, therefore when you add real numbers, you get a real number back. So this is a real number, 
and this is a real number. Therefore, this is a linear combination of v1 and v2. Okay. All right, so. Okay, so we showed for this u1 plus, oh, I'm sorry, u plus w is in the span of v1 and v2. Okay. Okay, so that satisfies the second property. Okay, so it's in the span, uh, which is, which means it belongs to H. Okay. And that's what we'll, that's what we wanted to show. Okay, for the third property, uh, we have to show that if we take a scalar and multiply it by something in H, then it's going to be an H. Okay, and that is the that's the closer property under multiplication. So that's the third property. Okay, so let's pick uh, let's use C. So let C be a real value. Okay, so we're gonna get C times. Okay, uh, we've already let's use the vector u that we've defined up here. In, in the second property. So if we take that scalar and multiply it by u, where u is an h, then we get c times s1 v1 plus s2 times v2. This is going to give us c times s1 v1 plus c times s2 v2. Okay, so therefore, because c is a real number, and so is s1 and s2, therefore this is a real value and this is a real value okay so therefore we show that C times U is in the span of V1 and V2 which is H okay so therefore we showed okay for we showed we showed all three of these properties are satisfied uh, for this for H here. So therefore H is a subspace of V. Okay. Okay. So this leads us to a, a general theorem. Okay, we can actually, uh, this was, so this particular example here was for two vectors, but we can expand on this. And so that's going to give us, uh, that's going to lead us to the next theorem here. Okay, so if we have, okay, so if we have a set of vectors that are in the vector space, let's say V1, V2, okay, let's say there's N of these. Okay. Okay. Let's say so this set is in the vector space V, then the span, okay, the span of these, okay. V one, V two, all the way up to V N actually is a subspace of V. Okay. Okay, and so there will be, uh, I'll do another example of this, okay, uh, in another video, okay. So this is nice, okay? So we showed this for two vectors, and we can easily show this for a, for a finite set of vectors, okay? And that's the theorem that you see here, okay?